In a small city park in Red Wing, they unveiled a new historical marker today, one of those plaques you stop and read during a family vacation. It's a sad story. So often what we remember of the past are the tragedies, and this monument is dedicated to one of Minnesota's worst disasters. 98 people died in one horrible accident, and uh, they were kind of buried and kind of swept away with the tides of history and forgotten. And people that suffer such a terrible tragedy, I think, in a way, uh, having their lives ended that way, deserve to be remembered just because of that. It was, says author and historian Fred Johnson, Minnesota's Titanic the state's most deadly transportation accident, and it happened a hundred years ago. 215 people boarded the steamboat Sea Wing for an excursion down the Mississippi from near Red Wing to Lake City. It was to be the event of the season. It was rather overloaded, and uh, on the return trip up the Mississippi River and the widening called Lake Pepin, a uh, heavy storm came off the Minnesota st shore, started violently rocking the ship and the barge, and uh, uh, down winds, probably straight line winds, similar to what hit the Twin Cities recently, struck the sea wing and capsized it. There was a tremendous loss of life. 98 people, men, women, and children, were killed. One whole family of seven perished in the accident. They were from Red Wing, as were 70 other victims. It was a terrible shock for what was then a town of 6,000. Virtually every family was affected, either directly through the loss of a relative or indirectly through a friend or an acquaintance. So uh, the town was paralyzed for four days while they tried to deal with this. On one day alone, there were 44 funerals in town. As time passed, the gravestones weathered and Minnesota would forget about the Sea Wing disaster. But Red Wing has always remembered, and today they made sure future generations would too. 100 years later, and that new marker is the first one to commemorate the tragedy of the Seaway. Mm.